Open Range Journeyer 340 FLR here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It's a super windy day. I'm parked by the road. If some wind hits a camera, I am sorry. There's a lot of optional uh, upgrades and equipment on this trailer that, uh, you know, not every single 340 FLR we carry or is sold will look just like this. But, you know, I, this one first came in, a model like this, in the, uh, in the winter time here in Michigan. And I was really bummed. I couldn't do a proper photo shoot and everything on it. And I just, as soon as I saw good weather, I came straight out here and set it up. There is nothing else like this. If you have like a lake site or a permanent site, you want to set a trailer, man, I could not think of a better one. There are so many unique factors and qualities here. I cannot hit them all. So I'm going to move kind of fast. First of all, this is wide body. Most travel trailers are eight foot wide. This is 100 inches wide. Secondly, it is huge. This is a behemoth. It is very tall. This is made, okay, here's what this is. This is a backwards fifth wheel that you tow on the bumper instead of a gooseneck, like in your truck bed. That's what this is. If you walked in a rear living room, two slides in the living room, and upstairs uh, bedroom slide fifth wheel, you wouldn't think twice. But in a travel trailer, it is unheard of. And it's that kind of innovation and the supremely high quality features uh, on this RV that make me love open range. Fully enclosed, forced air heated, insulated underbelly. Every single open range is zero and 100 degree tested. This has giant fifth wheel tires, not little travel trailer tires. Um, you know, <laughs> if you are towing this, you're not gonna have to worry about the little tires getting too hot, uh, you know, because they've over rotated. Uh, 10 or 12 gallon, I can't remember which water heater, but it recharges basically like twice as much as a standard travel trailer. This is a 50 amp unit, keep that in mind. Um, with a, a quick adapter though, you can run it on one AC on a 30 amp site. Fully privatized docking station. You can run your hoses up through there, lock the door so neighbor kids can't get through them. And again, if this were a fifth wheel, this would be the front storage below the bed. But in a travel trailer, this is absolutely unheard of. Notice though, it's all finished. There is nothing in here that is not well planned and well executed. Um, for instance, this baggage door swings downward because if it swung upward, you would have to duck under it to get there. This is easier to get into and out of. Uh, this RV is designed to operate uh, on four 20 pound propane tanks and they have this easy slide out setup. They went with 420s instead of 230s because it gives you, I don't know, one third more propane capacity and 20 pound tanks are far lighter and easier to manage. Truly walkable roof with stamped steel roof girders. Um, this is uh, all laminated skin, all the way around, all laminated. Uh, the rear roof ladder can be removed so you can get up there for maintenance. This doesn't have the backup camera prep. This has the backup camera. Keep in mind though, that's an option. Not every single 340 is gonna have that. This would be just like the front storage compartment in a fifth wheel underneath the, the fifth wheel kingpin basically. And notice that we have a true full spare tire and it's easy to get to. This is not uh, just like, you know, a quick patch tire. Uh, LED tail lights so you don't have to worry about your lights going out. And notice that they're not using that cheap rubber cover screw trim. This is all aluminum screw trim. This whole thing is designed to be as maintenance free as an RV can possibly get. I didn't say this is maintenance free. I said it's as maintenance free as it can get. Uh, for instance, this has a rubberized PVC roof membrane that does not require treating. You still need to check your seals, but the membrane doesn't require treating. This is another big deal, guys. It says double the warranty. And I would say double the warranty of anything else in its class, but there is nothing else in its class. There's nothing else like this anywhere, anywhere. Um, these strong arm stabilizer jacks right here, you'll find these on the front and rear stabilizers. Those will help keep this big, uh, you know, big Bertha here from rocking around on your campsite. Now you have twin power awnings, if you notice. The main power awning you expect to see here, and I love that it's not just white underneath, they gave it a pattern. You know, that stuff's sharp. There is full LED lights in the awning too. Now what's cool, you have your own personal, private, elevated patio deck right here, and it has its own power awning with LED spotlights. How cool is that? And you can actually put a nice picnic table up here. This thing's great. I've seen other manufacturers copying this. They do not put the construction in it that they need to. Open Range is one of the very few I've seen that is actually steel reinforcing that deck so that it holds weight. These other guys with these cable support systems, they're gonna have warranty claims. Now check this out. Just like a $100,000 fifth wheel, we have this beautiful, massive entry door. We're gonna hop inside now, and if you've been experiencing some wind on the camera, I am sorry, that's about to end. Now, one of the things I love in every single open range is the fact that you walk in, 
right where you walk in, there's one light switch. Boom, lights. Even in the middle of the day, you see how much of a difference that's making. That's because these are good, high quality, all LED light fixtures. They even use slightly yellowed LED elements instead of stark white so that it doesn't look like a doctor's office in here. I forgot to move this back from my photo tour. This is a rolling island kitchen. This can move anywhere you want. This is something that we've added in here. Now this is pure storage and it is Corian countertops just like the rest of the kitchen. Every ounce of this thing is 100% storage. You can roll it, move it wherever you want, whenever you want it. I'm gonna slide it over here just a bit so I can work around it. We're, uh, we're just gonna start working our way around because I have a lot to cover. Massive microwave. You can cook big meals in here. A true backsplash. Listen to this. You know, that's not just wallpaper. Bigger 22 inch oven versus a common 16 inch oven. All of your cabinetry is hidden hinged, just like you have at home. It's gonna give it just a supremely clean look. This has what I call the perfect pantry. The storage comes to you, because this is a thin space. You would have to get down on your knees and reach in there, kind of like I am right now. That's not as convenient for everyone as a uh, younger guy like me, though. This has 33% larger um, eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Um, this has walk-in slide outs. I'm standing, walking, in the slide, absolutely no problems in here. That is because this extra tall ceiling makes for extra tall slide outs, and you see they made that slide as tall as they possibly could. This has a vaulted cathedral ceiling in it, just like a fifth wheel. This has a residential fan like a high-end fifth wheel. This has race track ducted air conditioning. That means the air vents go down, twist back, and come back around. Most are H ducted where they go down and stop. Nothing wrong with H ducted, but the ends of your trailer don't get the efficiency in cooling, meaning your bedroom and the end of your living room get hotter. Did you notice that front wall when you were outside is in reality a front window? How cool is that? That's a one-way window. There's nothing else like that in the business. Not Nothing I've ever seen. Um, this is a uh, fold-out hide-a-bed sofa. So if you have guests, you have a nice queen bed for them to sleep on. Now, these recliners we've upgraded, check this out. I have shoved this chair all the way against the wall because, watch this, when it reclines, it pulls away from the wall. These are wall-hugging recliners. You are not going to smash up your window trim every time you recline your chair. Almost every used fifth wheel that comes on trade has some kind of busted up window fixture all the time. The shades are always screwed up. All of your doors are not paneled. They are true hardwood built to last. This thing is a tank made to last. Now this is exceptionally deep cabinetry too. You can get a lot of storage in here and uh, if you notice, if I can get this in shot, I have no idea if this is even focusing right, but you will see pocket screws right here. Not staples, not glue, higher grade construction for longer lasting uh, use and enjoyment. The dining table over here pulls out. It's not just an extension. There's actually, if you count them, two extension leaves in here and a support leg to hold the, the this, this extends so far. That's about how big it's going to be when that leg is, or when the leaves are in there. They add an extra support leg. You can fit six people at this table, not four. And this is the awesome option we put on here. The private patio deck. Look at this thing. Walk right out. Have your very own patio space. Again, I'm a tall guy. There is headroom up here. And remember, there, uh, there are LED lights built right into this awning. I just don't have them on right now to conserve battery power. But, you know, let me take a, I'm taking a seat right here. If you see my reflection a little bit in this mirror, you see I'm, I'm not like curled up in the corner. I'm just stretching out. This is where you're just gonna hang out, grab a nice tea, Long Island or traditional variety. It just depends, I suppose. And just have a good time. This is built right into the camper. You know, it's there when you need it, it's gone when you don't. This is awesome. How cool is this to walk out here? Look at your neighbors, you know, hey Karen, how you doing? That's exactly what's gonna happen here. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Um, storage, uh, every open range has what I call the dream kitchen. The, the amount of storage space in here is just unsurpassed. They have the best kitchens in open ranges. They have the most storage, they have the most easy access storage, they have the best fit and finish on their cabinetry, they have the best, I mean, you know, these corner cuts like this, these are really hard to get right. And it's 10 times out of 10 out of them. They don't send us products that need fixing, I love it. Stuff like this, really intelligent designs. You need a trash can and a permanent living trailer. That's what you get. Now, where they don't intend you to look, you still see good quality wood. You don't see particle board, you don't see OSB. There is no chintz, there's no cutting corners anywhere. 
Uh, they uh, have an upgraded Max Air fan here in the ceiling of the kitchen so that if you're cooking up a storm, it can exhaust heat. Not to mention, they're just good for airflow. Again, one switch, living room, lights. I'm gonna go ahead and conserve those lights for up here in the bedroom and bathroom. Pardon me real quick while I flip on bedroom light. And again, one switch and done. But on the way through, you have your upstairs, fifth wheel style bathroom. Um, there's a switch. So you actually have room in here to get dressed. You can change your clothes without bashing your head against the countertop. This huge cabinet is washer dryer prepped. If you notice, you simply need to pull out these face plates. Not a hard problem. We can do that for you here at Haylitz. They leave you extra outlets over here for anything you want. And look at this gigantic, massive, bonus, like just general storage space up here. You know, this is not only just your bathroom, this is a laundry room. That's what this is. It is awesome. Uh, we have a porcelain foot flush stool and a seamless shower, one piece shower. There is no seams where water can seep in there and cause potential water damage. Again, we're upstairs in a travel trailer. First of all, that's weird to say, but look at the headroom you have in here. I'm tall, I'm 6'3". There's taller people, but I'm not short. And you get a big sink in here. Actually, <laughs> apparently we, we left a decoration in here at some point. Hey, the, uh, the, <laughs> the toothbrush comes with it. <laughs> uh, we do have a sliding uh, privacy door up here for the bedroom from the bathroom. And just little touches like this. A door like this in a travel trailer. Who does that? Open range, that's who. These guys are beyond compare. Um, again, if you took a picture like this, you went, oh, that's a fifth wheel. And then you remember, we're upstairs in a travel trailer. How insanely cool is that? Full bedroom upstairs slide in a travel trailer. All the windows in that slide open for ventilation. You have a, uh, a tri-slide fully mirrored front door here uh, that is nothing but pure storage. You have an amazing, amazing dresser array right here with three of these full extension drawers. You have so much storage in this fifth wheel. Like I said, this is a travel trailer you can easily live in. It's, uh, you know, for folks who, if you want to tow it, there's a lot of people that maybe have like an expedition or something like that. And they they don't want to give up their, their uh, vehicle, you know, for a, uh, they don't want to have to buy a truck. They don't want to give up the SUV. This is it. You get it all. You get the fifth wheel uh, that you can pull on a bumper or leave it parked somewhere and have this big window and patio. God, this thing is cool. Give us a call. 800-256. 5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Come see this one and have a lot of fun.